The diagram shows part of the curve which passes through the point 2 minus 5. So we've got this sort of curve. It is actually a curve, not a straight line. The gradient of the curve is given by dy by dx is 6x plus 16 over x cubed. Determine whether the curve passes through 1 minus 10. And then find the equation to the tangent at p, giving your answer in the form ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. So we've got to find the tangent at that point there. Okay. So if we need to find the curve, given that dy by dx is equal to 6x plus 16x cubed, it's going to involve a bit of integration. So to find the equation of the curve from dy by dx, so we've got dy by dx is 6x plus 16x cubed, which we rewrite as 6x plus 16x to the minus 3. Y will be the integral of 6x plus 16x to the minus 3 dx. So integrating, you add 1 to the power and divide by the new power, so that will become 3x squared. If you add 1 to minus 3, it becomes minus 2. Therefore, the sign is going to change because you're going to divide by minus 2, you get minus 8x to the minus 2. And then you also, you get a constant of integration. Now, that makes it the curve become 3x squared minus 6x, 6 divided by x squared plus c. The curve uh, passes through the point 2, 5. We're given that. It goes through that point there. So that will allow us to find c. So when y is 5, x is 2. So we get 5 is equal to 3 times 2 squared minus 8 over 2 squared plus c. So it's going to give you 5. 2 squared is a 4 times 3, which gives you 12. Uh, minus 8 divided by 4 will give you 2 uh, plus c. So we're going to, uh, it's going to be 5 is equal to 10 plus c, and therefore c is equal to minus 5. So the curve is y. Our particular solution will be y is equal to 3x squared minus 8 over x squared minus 5. When x is 1, we need to find and see whether this point goes through it, given in the question. We get y is equal to 3 times 1 squared minus 8 over 1 squared plus minus 5. So it gives me 3 minus 8 minus 5, which will give me uh, minus 10. And therefore, make a conclusion. The curve passes through the, the point that we're asked to determine. It goes through, which is 1 minus 10. Right, now we need to find the equation, the tangent at this point. We already have dy by dx. Okay, so we've got dy by dx is 6x plus uh, 16 over x cubed. We'll put in 2, so at x is equal to 2, we get dy by dx is 6 times 2 plus 16 over 2 cubed. So that's 12, uh, 16 divided by 8, because 2 cubed is 8, is 2. So the gradient will be equal to 14. Then using y minus y1 is equal to mt x minus x1, we need to uh, use the point p. So this is x1, y1. So we're going to get y minus 5 is equal to 14 brackets x minus 2. So y minus 5 will be 14x minus 28. And therefore, we get 14x minus y minus uh, 23, given in the correct format, ax plus by plus c is equal to zero. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to find the equation of the curve from the derivative, and then find the uh, equation of the tangent at a particular point. I hope you've understood. In the notes of this video, there will be a link to my website where you will find thousands of videos to support you with A-level maths. And... Uh, maybe you could consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you very much for watching.